Hopefully by now you're an absolute master of GDP, you know it inside and out. We've looked at it plenty, now we're going to get into real GDP per capita. So we're going to talk about this as a measure of the standard of living in a country, and then we're going to decompose this into its different sources. So real GDP per capita quite simply could be rephrased as a real GDP per person. We're just taking real GDP, which we represent as Y, and we divide that by the population. Now this is a very good measure of standard of living because it tells you the average person's purchasing power. Because we're dealing with real GDP, we're getting purchasing power and not just you know, a number of dollars that might not necessarily be all that good depending on the cost of living where they are. And because we're dividing it by the population, we're getting it for the average person. So there's no use looking at just real GDP, you know, between two different countries, if one has a population that's a thousand times larger than the other. The scale of them should naturally be extremely different. So it's a fairly good measure, but is it perfect? Well, obviously no, it's not. Just to go over a few of the things it doesn't cover, it does not look at leisure time, so we might have a very high real GDP per capita 